Hello everyone, it's been a while since the last update, uh, approximately a month or so. Um, unfortunately, I wish I could bring a better report, but another uh, disease uh, broke out in the reef here. Um, it all started back and I noticed one of my clownfish uh, started getting some uh, like off-color white dots and uh, started losing uh, its color, so I moved it to the quarantine tank and uh, just got worse and uh, ended up dying. Then I noticed my other clownfish in here started showing the same symptoms, so I tried to uh, uh, move it out uh, right away, and uh, same thing happened to it. It just ended up dying. And from the research I did, it appeared to be brook uh, or clownfish disease, um, but it's not just limited to the clownfish. Uh, also ended up losing both of my uh, fang blennies, the uh, yellow canary and the uh, striped uh, fang blenny then also my orange back wrasse. Um, all the other fish so far look good, um, no symptoms of it. Um, I'm not able to catch them all and uh, uh, quarantine them. Um, I'm hoping that uh, everything uh, is okay in here now. It's been roughly uh, two weeks now, so all the other fish uh, seem fine. The two new fire goobies are actually doing quite well in here. And as is all the corals, uh, kind of see them there, a lot of growth on them. Uh, that encrusting uh, coral there is doing really well. It's really starting to fill that area in. Um, the torch coral, originally I was going to put this one in the 40 gallon, uh, but I really like that one so I left it in here. Uh, but I did move some of the other corals, and I'll show you that in a minute, into the new 40 gallon. But all the uh, other torches and hammers are really doing quite well. That one back there has really got some nice growth on it. And these are all branch uh, type. Um, hammers and uh, torch corals. Then uh, the uh, green um, encrusting coral here is doing really well, or plate coral there. Really looking nice. Uh, the red's really starting to get some height on it. I can kind of show you, get it at its level there. Really starting to gain some height there. The uh, purple mushrooms down here are really looking nice. Really got a lot of new uh, growth in there. And the sea fan is doing well. Not really seeing a lot of growth in it, but uh, I guess it just looks fuller. There's a lot of pulps on the branches there, if you can see all those. Then the uh, bird's nest here is really getting large. I had to actually uh, secure it. Uh, with some putty around the base there and super glued it in there into a hole in that rock there. I uh, started to tip over. And here's some more uh, hammers and torch and a frog spawn and all those are looking really nice. And then the Acropora here, you can kind of see that left branch there is really starting to gain some height on it. Really looking nice there. Then here's another one of my uh, like a maze brain there I guess, is what they call it I believe that one's really looking nice and then the dunk in here well, that's all I really had on this one and now I'll take you to the 40 gallon okay here we are at the uh, 40 gallon reef uh, the last update I had on this was the live rock was going through its curing process uh, which caused the water to have a slight like sulfur smell to it that has now since passed. The live rock is cured. All the water parameters in here are perfect. Um, however, there is algae growth in here um, that formed. And so what I did is I bought some, a uh, uh, little bit of a cleanup crew, five snails and five blue leg hermits to, to uh, start to work on that. Um, the reason why there's no fish in here, um, I'll explain, is uh, I ended up uh, making a mistake looking back. I ended up putting the clownfish that was potentially sick and ended up being sick um, in the QT tank with my bicolor angel. Well, I put the bicolor angel in here and uh, it started showing the same signs of the, the brook clownfish disease. So I lost the bicolor. So now this here is contaminated. So I will let this sit for 30 days. Um, I shouldn't have, shouldn't have put the clownfish in there since it was uh, sick. Should have used a separate hospital tank, but that was a uh, lesson learned there. Um, one thing I did do though, and this is just a little too late, but because Brook is, uh, I guess, a very fast disease that kills, I did buy this uh, 
formalin, which is 37%, and uh, it's supposed to cure the brook and ick and, and others. But uh, like I said, it was too late. The fish were already pretty much uh, heavily infected with that disease. Um, on the other note, the, another note here though, is I did get a few more frags here. Now a lot of these I had already bought and had them in my 125. That uh, Lobophilia there, the uh, hammer here, um, the Zoas back there came from my 125. Um, of course, I, I these mushrooms, I gave an update on that before. And some of the newer frags is the uh, purple Montipora there. The uh, green tip frog spawn, the uh, green hammer coral, and there's a uh, encrusting uh, coral with the green polyps, then this orange pumpkin frog spawn, and another green uh, branching hammer. So, so far all these are doing well and uh, looking nice. Then there's, I already had this in there, but that's really uh, looking nice now. The uh, heads are starting to get a, a little larger. And uh, one thing I did do though, I did go ahead and buy another uh, light for up here. I wanted more blues because the uh, build my LED is 10,000 K. So I bought this here and I went with the uh, current Orbit Marine. Um, I used these before and had excellent results with them. Plus I like the idea. It has a built-in uh, uh, schedule and also you can control the intensity of both the blue and the white light separately so on that one there I have the blues at roughly about 85 percent and the whites only at 20 percent since the uh, build my LED is so bright and I did end up buying the controller um, to dim this build my LED now I'm running that about 75 percent so in the morning when the lights first come on I have blues now for about an hour then in the evening um, I have uh, the, just the blues for, for an hour. Um, now I did go ahead and uh, I do have some more uh, fish that I had already bought. So I did about 60% uh, to 70% water change twice in the QT tank to make sure this disease is out. I took all the uh, rocks out, uh, rinsed them off with hot water. Um, and what I got was a couple purple fire fish. You can kind of see them back there. They're still kind of shy. <laughs> but there's two of those. And I did treat this uh, QT tank with that uh, formalin. Um, just to make sure that there is nothing left in here. And so far those guys are doing well. Looking good. And But they will stay in here for 30 days. That's why I added all the lava rock there. And there's a, one piece of actual reef rock, and then the other piece back there is what they call, I think, Texas Holy Rock. But uh, anyway, i just trying to make it look more uh, natural in here for them. And uh, I do have two of the uh, just air-driven pumps in here, or filters. But uh, so far, so good on those guys. And uh, I, I just want to thank you all for watching another video.